What's up guys, Black Wars here and welcome back to another video and today we're back on Pro Cycling Manager 2020 for the first episode of our Pro Cyclist career mode and the rider I have chosen, some of you already saw it if you are on my Discord but we've decided to go for a Pro Cyclist with David Godu. Uh a lot of you suggested riders but I felt like I wanted to do something with a French rider because I've never done something with a French person um, on PCM and yeah, I mean, I'm, at the end of the day, I'm French, so yeah. Then if you don't like it, big L. <laughs> um, but no, we've decided to make a pro cyclist with David Godu. So in this first episode, we're gonna make the calendar uh, for good old David uh, and see if we maybe have one race. We we may we, I think we'll do one race. Uh, we're gonna follow his calendar from the 2019 season. So, we're going to make that first right now. Calendar. Uh, Mr. Goodrich, you're going to start your season on the Tour de la Provence. Uh, by the way, this is like the very early build of the game. I don't have a database installed. I just have the real name one. Um, so, yeah. Right now, that's all I have. Uh, before for my career mode, which I haven't started recording. Uh, I don't know when the, the episode will cover for the career mode. I, if it comes out today, then... The the boys during the um the uh how's it called the um, oh wow the world GB have smashed it like smashed it uh so wait he did Provence then you tour then he did the Grand Prix Industria und uh, Artigiano when is that it's not in the game it's not in the game we should have at least like a race in March. We'll, we'll be doing, uh, we'll go to Paris-Nice. Yeah, we'll go to Paris-Nice. Alright. That's our month. Yeah, uh, then Pais Vasco, we said. Then he did the Ardennes. Well, right, he hadn't done the Amstel, but we'll make, we'll make him do the Amstel and Romandie. Okay. Then, big break until the Dauphiné. Good. Then, French National Championships. Tour de France. Which I can't do yet. I need to be level 17. No, I will be level 17. Don't you worry. Uh, Classica San Sebastian. Tour du Doux. Really? Alright. When is the Tour du Doux? 15th of August. Okay, there it is. Um, Tour de Slovakia. Or S S Tour of, Slo uh, of Slovakia, but it's not in the game either. Uh, Giro dell'Emilia. Oh, come on, it should be here. The Giro dell'Emilia should be in the game. It's not. Even like the, the uh, Tre Valévare is in on there. That's disappointing. That's disappointing. Well, we'll have the Gipi Matteotti because why not? Oh, wait, no, it's definitely not where I want to be here. Uh, what, Milano Torino? Um, We'll have this race before, why not? Uh, Giro del Piemonte, he's got it. He, do he doesn't, but it'll replace the Trevaille Varesin. Uh, and Lombardia. Okay. We have a very, like, eclectic kind of calendar. With the big game being obviously the Tour de France. Uh, and the Ardennes Classic. Right, we're going to confirm this. Uh, as we get an achievement, love that. Uh, all right. So our main objective in the first month is going to be the Amstel. We're going to try and win the Ar the Ardennes Classic, uh, then Tour de France, and finally we'll have Il Lombardia. All right. Looks good to me. Looks good to me. We'll, we'll start as um, low. Yeah, we'll start low. Uh, by the way, I did not show you the stats of David Godu. Um, the stats have been revamped, alright? Uh, so, like, s some of the guys at the World GB uh, sent me, like, a revamped version uh, of the database, of the initial one. So the stats on the same uh, as they probably are if you have, like, the very vanilla version of the game. So, no, he's a Giri with 80 Mountain. 
uh, and David Godu lost two points in Mountain, making him a 76-78. Uh, but that should be enough. As we start the Tour de la Provence, we're going to try and take a win. Uh, also, compared to the screen you saw in the first impressions yesterday, the background did change. There's now like some stripes on it. Uh, here you've got like a drag down menu. So it, it's good. There's been the, there's been some changes. Uh, but yeah, Tour de la Provence. I just wanted to see like. Can I not see the parkour of the race? No, I can't. Well, let's go for a time trial between Sainte Marie de la Mer and Sainte Marie de la Mer. And our career with David Goudou is underway. Uh, Alright. Now, uh, the last time I did a time trial on this game, time trials have appeared to be fucked. I don't know if it's been cha uh, changed uh, like since the game is now released. Uh, I hope it has. But like you had to pace 85 just to lose energy. It, it looks like we're good though. It looks like on paper we're good. We've got a plus one today, uh, which puts us to 68 prologue. I'm not expecting anything if I'm going to be honest from this uh, from this stage. Uh, we'll see what happens at the first 20 minutes. It is currently Le uh, Sebastian Langevelt easily in the lead. Um, uh, he hasn't crossed the line in uh, Saint Marie de la Mer though. 24 seconds down. Valentin Madras with a very nice first 20 minutes. He was only fourth place. So Langevelt might have crossed the line, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he just became very slow. Um, still at Monson though. Uh, no, 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 Langevelt is ahead of us. Langevelt is ahead of us. Is there someone behind us? Uh, Kutkowski, yeah, fair enough. So he's going to beat us. Langevelt takes the lead in Sainte Marie de la Mer in this inaugural prologue of the uh, Tour de la Provence, the first race of the season for David Godu. We're going to come home in what will be, a, I'm guessing, our 50th place, or a, a 70th, yep, 70th place, 54 seconds. I mean, I'm used to, to have bad riders in inaugural TTs, so it's fine. Langeveld takes the win ahead of Edmondson, Kampenart, Bosnagen, and Kurt Korski. Joel Suter comes in 6th position with Mats Vertmet, Tom Vedgen, José González, sorry, and Pierre Latour to complete the top 10. Okay. Uh, we, on the other hand, finish in what is 85th position, 55 seconds down. We are the second worst rider of the team, just ahead of Rémi Ladenius. Rémi Ladenius, Mathieu Ladenius. Alright, they want us to go in the breakaway today, uh, but they also want us to be in the top three of the stage. I feel like you're, you're I mean, contradicting yourself. Uh, let me just zoom out because I hate the, the very close camera. Uh, we're going to do exactly the opposite of what they want. We're not going to go in the break at all. Um, however, we'll do. Uh, we'll, we'll try to attack later on. As we have an attack from the uh, best Anguada of this tour, Joel Suter for Ben Gold, Wallonie, Bruxelles. Alright, have a good day at the office, lad. Alright, 34 kilometers remaining in this stage. Uh, we have no uh, breakaway anymore. Everyone has been uh, caught up. Um, there's been a few crashes just before seeing the withdrawal of Anthony Surgis. Uh, Valentin Madras is quite low on energy, but I'm hoping that he's going to be uh, I don't know, feeling a bit better in uh, the upcoming kilometers. Because if not, we're, we're in the shit. Uh, same for Rudy Mollard, who's currently next to us. Um, it's just been a jeu de zero and in your spacing. Since the start. Let me just take a look at the start list. Simon Yates is it? Oh. Okay. So Simon Yates. Nero Quintana. Warren Barguil. Mm, probably Galopin. Dan Martin. Mehal Kutkowski. Pavel Sivakov. Some very big names are here. Some very, very big names are here. Uh, is there a mountain stage in this race? There isn't. This is like the, this is technically the queen stage. Ah, oh, we need to do well then. All right, we can't accrue yet with uh with David Godu, but you better believe the first thing I'm gonna do to uh, to get well, so, some new perks, I'm going to increase uh and to sorry make the acrobatic descent available because I know everybody loves acrobatic descents. Yeah. But we're gonna start the call of Lecret. In the very uh, near future, left-hander, and we are in this climb. We're already at the front, so just behind the standard. All right. Dan Martin has attack. We're going to follow the Irishman. Kurt Koski is in our wheel. Dan Martin with a good attack. Good attack. Yates is doing quite well. Alexander Edmonton is trying to follow, but he's struggling. Oh, Kurt Koski. Kurt Koski is struggling to follow uh, Dan Martin here. Kwiatkowski is struggling to follow the Martin and we're gone. We're gone with the Irishman. Yates coming back. Kwiatkowski is still here. Big legs from the Polish riders. A uh, Polish rider, sorry. Alright. We've got a group of four riders. Kwiatkowski is out of red. 
We're going to cross the summit of Lake Crete. We're going to take the lead in the mountain classification. We're taking 10, uh, 16 points there. There we go. All right. They've all held on. Let's reduce our rhythm for a bit. Who's the one chasing us? Who's dying? A1. There's Jonathan Hiver. And then there's two other riders. Come on. Relay, lads. Come on. Oh, Yates and Kutkosi, you're all like bare good descenders. Why aren't you relaying now? Is that an attack from Don Martin? It isn't. It's an attack from Simon Yates, though. Which we're going to follow. Maybe it wasn't an attack. Maybe he's just going on his pedals. No, no, no. It is an attack. It is an attack from Simon Yates. Which we're going to follow. Big attack from uh, the winner of the Vuelta. Dan Martin is going on the left. Dan Martin is going on the left hand side of the road here. And no one is chasing him. No one is chasing Dan Martin. As we're going to head into this downhill portion. Dan Martin has a 5 second lead over us. Can we come back on the Irishman of Israel Cycling Academy? Yes, we can. We're going to stay in the wheel of Simon Yates for the remainder of this stage now, I think. As we'll have a new leader, most likely Miral Kutkowski, unless Simon Yates takes the win. Uh, Kutkowski literally just jumped me. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm, I'm being dropped because they're, they're, they're better descenders than I am, yeah. I, I see you, lads. I see you trying to make moves and shit. We're going to use our gel. Big attack from Dan Martin again. Which we're going to follow. Well, at least we're going to try to. Oh, God. Are we good? We're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Who's the fastest sprinter? It's a tie between a lot of riders. Well, tie. It's it's quite close. Jonathan Hiver came back. 900 minutes to go. We're going to take the sprint. Let's go. Come on. David Godu against Miral Kutkowski. Jonathan Hiver is quite quick as well. But David Godu is going to take his first ever win. As a pro cyclist ahead of Jonathan Hiver and Miral Kutkowski. 1-2 for France. That is something I did not expect in this group. Warren Barguil comes home in 6th position. Pierre Latour in 7th. We're going to have Jan, uh, Jan Sevenesburg, sorry, José González and Lilian Calmejan rounding up the top 10. But it is a good day at the office for FDG as we take our first win. A very big win for David Godu today. Ahead of Iver, Kielkowski, Yates, Martin and Barguil. Uh, yeah, just, just a good thing. Just a very good thing. GC wise, we move up to 6th position. We have a new leader, Miral Kielkowski. He's got a 12 second lead on Simon Yates as we head to stage 3. Uh, which is between Aubagne and Le Castellet. I don't think any gaps will happen here, I, if I'm going to be honest. I don't think anything will happen. All right, let's go. Stage number uh, three of this Tour de la Provence. We are currently wearing the polka dot jersey. Do we have a transfer on the back, or is it just bare bright? It is bare bright. Good. Um, attacks already. Lukas Wisniewski. I'm guessing Florian Morlet. I called him Florian. He might be called Frédéric. I don't know. Uh, Frédéric is the new victor. Oh, also, uh, it is there. Uh, we've got the Acro Descent available to us now. Uh, like, now, I mean, my pro cyclist is level 14. I'll, no, I'll show you, uh, like, all the semantics. Is semantics a word? I don't know. By the way, if I sound kind of funny, alright? Basically, <laughs> basically, yesterday was my birthday. And, um, like, we, we did um, a stream. An F1 open lobby stream, uh, but with punishments, and I had to take shots of vodka. If I mean I didn't do the current like the the requirements, uh, and quite in I mean, I feel like the, it it was extremely nice. It was completely like not prepared, all right. But with all the punishments, we ended up well, we ended up I ended up doing 21 shots for my 21st birthday. So I felt like the message was cool and that, but. Yeah, 21 shot of vodka is not good. <laughs> like, so yeah, if I still sound a bit funny, my bad. <laughs> my bad, all right? If I, like, if I'm not fully in my capacities of recording, my bad. <laughs> but it's fine, all right? I've already won a stage. I, I'm, tell, I'm telling you, we're good. All right, back to cycling, though. As we start the final climb today, the Brula. Or Le Brûla for uh, what is the fifth time, I think. It is indeed. Uh, no breakaways as it is Owen Dole pacing at the front of the peloton. Now it is Rudy Mollard. Attack from Nero Quintana. Attacks from Nero Quintana. Uh, Pierre Latour is trying to follow. Why is Van Poppel here? Uh, don't, I don't know. 
I don't know, a big attack from Nero Quintana, ninth place of the GC, trying to make moves there. Okay, I see you, Mr. Quintana. I see you wearing uh, your, your red jersey of Arkea Samzik. Dylan Van Barla accelerating to catch Mauro Finetto and Pierre Latour. Can we come back on Nero Quintana? I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be interesting. Kitkowski does have one teammate with him, though. We still have uh, Valentin Madouas, which is good. We're going to have him protect us. Uh, and we'll, we'll do some, uh, some aerodynamic positioning. Trying to uh, and be nice. Like, trying to be, like, gone with the wind and shit. Uh, 30 seconds on Quintana. Madouas is dead. Why, why am I pacing? No, no, no. V v uh, Kitkowski, mate. Do your job. Do your job of a yellow jersey. Oh, attack! Attack from Kitkowski. He's already stopped, though. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Mechal. Very kind of you. Uh, you've got energy as well. You can pace. Come on. Come on. Well, I'm not sure about them track limits. Not sure about the apexes. But it's fine. We move. We're going to come back on Nero Quintana. I didn't think we were gonna, going to, but we are. We are. And we are the second best sprinter in this group. After a certain Edval Boissanagan as well. Anyone going to counter-attack? Those are very wide roads, so, it, like, counter-attacks could happen. Three kilometers until the line. We're going to use our gel. Once again, new game. Still no gel is from my end. <laughs> Come on. We're in the wheel of Kitkowski. If he starts the sprint, uh, we have a good chance of winning because he's got genuinely no red. Which means he's probably going to, like, delay his start. Oh, there's a, these apexes are, like, destroying my head right Oh, 700 Oh, it's the line already. Oh, shit. Oh. I expected, like, to see a flam rouge or something. There was 200 meters to go. Well, Kudkowski, of course, takes the win here. Oh. I'm extremely disappointed. I might still be drunk, after all. <laughs> well, we come home in third place. Uh, at least we get bonus seconds, I guess. Uh, because we now move to third position in the GC of the Tour de la Provence. Uh, but yeah, that was quite dumb for my idea. One more stage. Avignon Aix en Provence. Uh, let's go. Very nice walls on uh, the left of the road right now as we leave Avignon. A very medieval town. Uh, here is actually the Pont d'Avignon. Very famous uh, landmark in France. And I'm not being funny for once. Uh, you can see the, the, the bridge being broken here. Uh, if I can zoom out. Thank you. You can see it uh, right there being broken. It's a very nice place uh, if, you, if people from the southern France want to visit, or like if you want to visit southern France. It's a cool town. Uh, I wouldn't recommend spending more than one day because otherwise you'd get bored. But it is, it, it do be a nice town. Uh, but anyway, if I'm, I'm, like, I'm, I'm not David Attenborough. I'm not going to present the, the like wildlife and the fauna of, of Avignon. All right. We're going to go back on our bike. Uh, now, it is considered the sprint stage. However, I mean, I'm seeing some elevation towards the end, and we do have the Acro Descent. We do have the almighty Acrobatic Descent. We'll see if it's easier to crash this year, or if it's tougher. I'm, I'm hoping it's tougher, because it was very easy to crash last year. Uh, I've proven that many, many times. And yeah, we'll try something, to see if we can get uh, get 30 seconds on Kutkowski. I don't believe that we will, but why not? Right, we're in the final climb. Um, I said I was going to try and like make a move, so that is exactly what we're going to do. Uh, we can't surprise our opponents yet. I don't think I've unlocked that. Um, yeah, I just don't think I did that. Uh, let's try to observe Kutkowski. He does have energy a bit more than I do. Uh, we'll attack in the tough part of this climb. Right, we'll just take the lead right now of the peloton uh, and see what happens. I think we can hold on for like some kilometers. Is that an attack from Kemil Meleke? It isn't. He's just pacing at the front. Uh, where is said tough part? It is coming quite soon. I didn't wish to have Kutkowski in my wheel, like, directly in my wheel, though. Something I would have liked to avoid. We're going to attack right now. Yeah, but Kutkowski's like, he's, he's following. He he just knows that I was going to do that. Uh, at least we'll get six points for the mountain classification. Uh, that's quite good. Uh, Jose Gonzalez has stopped. Is Kutkowski going to relay with me? Let's see. Is Kutkowski willing to take relays, yes or no? It would be good if he was. It would be great, because I'm like I'm dropping Simon Yates right now. Michal, come on, lad. Look, I'm opening you the door. Oh, for fuck's sake, Michal! I thought we were mates and that. Thank you, 
It's my boy right there. That, that do be my boy. He's got so much more energy than I do as well. Like he's, if he paces, he literally has the stage win technically. He's got every right to work, and it just would. It's just a smart idea to work here. Right, we're still in this arrow position. Um, I'm not sure being arrow behind someone is going to be a, a big help, but why not? Uh, we have uh, quite some time on uh, on Yates, and that's the main thing. 25 seconds to be precise on Yates. Is that Galopin? Nope. That's Pierre Latour. Okay. Well, Pierre Latour is dead. Acro descent. Um, is that going to do anything? Nope. It's just going to make me use yellow. I don't care about the stage win. Uh, I don't care about the stage win. I don't give a, sh sh a fuck about the stage win. I just want to pace right now. And the more I pace, the more I drop Simon Yates in it. And I try to sprint. Let's see if we can actually fight with Kutkowski. We can't. It's going to be another win for the Rider of Ineos, But it's fine. 15 seconds. So that's 21. Ah, surely this time. Surely there's enough on Simon Yates. Come on. Nope. I feel like we're back on the old PCM because there's no gaps. It was considered as a sprint stage, so they didn't count anything. Uh, which means that we're going to stick to third place in this Tour de la Provence. Alright. Uh, I think we gain... We, we came second in the post classification. We're going to win the mountain classification and a best Guarda. It's not a bad start to a tour, is it? Uh, to a career, technically. It's not a bad start at all. But nevertheless, I do hope you've enjoyed this inaugural episode of David Godu uh, Pro Cyclist. If you did, then smash the like button. Like, do. Just do it. Uh, if you're new around here, then please consider subscribing to the channel. We're extremely close to 1,500. Like, I wanted to get them yesterday for my birthday. We were so close. We're like 20 away. And yeah, if you're new around here, then please do subscribe for a lot. A lot of content on PCM and TDF coming very soon. There is a TDF video coming out today. Uh, there is a Pro Cyclist coming out tomorrow. There is a Tour de France coming out tomorrow. There should be a career mode. As soon as the World GB is prepared, I will start getting and record that. Uh, there's the All-Star Tour. Like, a lot of things are happening. A lot. So yeah, just smash that like button. Smash the um, subscribe button. And I shall see you in the very near future. But I have been Blackwater. It's been an absolute pleasure. Talking to you guys and goodbye.